All right, Coach, you ready? Yes, sir. All right, uh, since your voice is harsh, we won't uh, overkill you with too many uh, <laughs> questions. But uh, first off, uh, this guy threw the ball 52 times. All right. Was that a plan, or was that something you kind of adjusted into? Uh, well, well, most of those plays was, were, were runs, but there was run pass options. So uh, we gave Jerry the leeway to, uh, to, to feel free to do what he needed to do to, uh, to execute the play. If, they, if it was more in the box, we wanted him to throw the ball, but if not, we wanted to run the ball. So they were run pass option plays, and it was, it was, it was his call to make. And is that is that something you guys are gonna kind of do moving forward, or are you guys trying to get that, you know, more centered on run passes? Oh, uh, we, we're gonna center it. We want, we really want to run the ball. We want to establish the run game to, to throw to, to 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 pass off of. But uh, of course, we won't be throwing the ball 52, 52 times a lot. And then you guys only rushed the ball for two point three yards per carry, and you obviously didn't attempt that many runs. Uh, was that game plan? Was that you guys struggling? Was that them? Who, what was kind of that uh, circumstance? Uh, I think it was it was a bit of both. Uh, uh, we knew we knew it, we knew they had a great defense, and uh, it was going to be hard to just try to muscle those guys down, muscle the ball down their throats. So we, what we wanted to do was get the ball on the perimeter and let our guys uh, get in some one on one battles and make some make some plays on the outside in the, in the perimeter game. And you guys were thirty plus underdogs for this game. You That's lost right. by six. And you also gave up less points than you were our uh, underdogs for. So you gave up 26 to 30 points underdogs. Uh, speak about, you know, moral victories, you know, how you guys deal with those. Oh, uh, well, like I told my guys, you, you either win or you don't. Uh, we had enough moral victories last year. It's, it's time to win around here. Uh, I took this job to win football games. I think we got a lot of young men in the locker room who wants to win. And uh, they, they, they knew that they let one get away last week. But... We 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 got we got to do better. We 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 was well prepared. I got, I give a lot of thanks to my coaching staff. They prepared our guys well for for what they was going to see throughout the course of the week. So we was very prepared. We just we we, we just didn't win the game. The first ball game is always about answering questions. <clears throat> what questions do you have answered Saturday to your satisfaction? Uh, I think I got a good football team. Uh, I think I think uh, we 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 right now, like I said last week. This game was going to tell us what we need to do, what we can do, and what we got to throw out. Right now, I just think we just got to polish up some things and get better. Uh, but but overall, I'm very pleased with my football team, the way they went out and executed, played at a high level. The thing about it now, can we be consistent with playing at a high level? We got to play at that level week in and week out. It can't be ups and downs. The consistency is the key to this week's preparation. How much better would Valley have to play to get the wins, and you said you're here to get wins. How much better than Saturday would they have to play? They gotta raise the level every week. It's, you, you, you can't, you can't be inconsistent. You, you can't be up one week and down the next week. So we just gotta raise our level. But we do that with today starting one o'clock at practice. So that that's 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 one step to to, to getting us closer to where we're trying to get to. Is that that's just practicing and preparing well and being more consistent with our practices and play. They didn't do a good job on Smith uh, as far as running the ball. They didn't get a lot of yards. Did, was that them uh, stopping him? Well they, well, they, well, they put a lot in the box, and what we wanted to do was spread them out. And if they wanted to overload the box, we was going to throw it out to the perimeter and let some of our playmakers do, do, do their job. But uh, we, 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 we're going to establish the run game. I, I thought our offensive line did a great job against uh, a, a, power, a powerful defense as, as those guys. A lot of transfers, transfers from everywhere, Missouri, Alabama. So they had everybody across that defensive line that we knew we was prepared for. But giving up one sack against those guys, yeah, I know the run game doesn't doesn't say a lot, but just only giving up one sack against those guys and keeping them off our quarterback a lot, I thought those guys did a tremendous job. You talked about mistakes last week. You can't make mistakes. Apparently that didn't happen. Kept that to a minimum in this past ball game. Oh, that was that was to keep going into the game. We talked we talked on the offensive side of the ball. About no no turnovers. If you if you if you if you limit if you if you don't have no turnovers, you put us in, uh, you give us a great chance of winning the game. Because right now our defense is playing good football, and um, if you just don't turn it over and we win the field position battle, we give ourselves a chance to win each game. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't sure if you wanted to keep going. Uh, talk about Jared Bryant from last year, and then talk about him this year. Because I think if you had him throw the ball 52 times last year. That would have been that would have been you know maybe a more of a struggle this year. Seemed like you guys were able to still move the ball though. Uh, speak about that. Uh, 
did you hear, um, you talking about a kid who, who's been here a year now, uh, went through the spring, understands the system, but he also understands that that consistency is the key. Turn the ball over, we'll get, we'll get you beat. So we just talked to him before the game and just told him, you know, uh, trust your players, trust trust the defense, and um, if you do that, we'll, 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 we'll put ourselves in position to win the games, and I thought he did that for us. Uh, he didn't turn the ball over. Of course, he was kind of rattled early on in the game, as you can see. But he kind of settled in throughout the second half, and he did exactly what we asked him to do throughout the course of the game. Time of possession. You guys lost that by a relatively significant margin. Yeah. Is that just lack of running? Yeah, that, 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 that could, because we couldn't establish a ground game, so we couldn't eat up the clock like we wanted to. But uh, I didn't think it really hurt us not, not, not winning the time of possession game because – our defense was doing the same thing to their offense. So, uh, we, 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 like I said, we just got to do a better job and clean up some mistakes in the run game, and uh, we, we'll be okay. You still want that run game going into the future to be your bread and butter? Yes, sir. Uh, that's how you win games. A good run game and defense, I think that's the key to winning football games. Like you said, if you can uh, win the time of possession and you can control the clock, I think you win games that way. When you're Valley State losing to Tennessee State 26 to 20, Fans liked that the score looked good. Stats not overwhelming one way or the other. And, and as you said earlier about a moral victory, how do you keep your young men from thinking that, well, hey, we, we did well and we don't have to raise the level of our play. We come back and meet that. How do you, as coaches, make sure that that does not happen to the team? The, the way we prepare the week, we, we, that, that game is behind us now. Now we're on to Lamar. Um, and like I said, man, uh, either you win or you don't. Nobody remembers the second place people. So you either win or you don't, and I think I got a locker room full of full of guys that understand that we need to win ball games around here. It's enough more victories. We had a lot of more victories last year, and we're not going to be happy off of more victory. But I am encouraged by the play of some of our younger guys, some of our newer players. Um, I, I see us taking steps, but uh, are we happy? No. But are we are we encouraged by what we've seen? Yes. That was a team that really. They were in the ballgame until the end and really thought that they could win it. They were dejected when the game was over. Was that good to see that they were hurt the fact that the game, they was in it and did not win it? Yes. Uh, I'm, 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 you, you love to see that from your players, man. They, they, they fall hard. They, they played 60 minutes of football. They gave everything that they had. Um, I, and that's all I asked them, of them before the game. I told them, you go out and play your best and you let the chips fall where they made. And those guys did that. And, um, and yeah, it was, it was heartbreaking at the end because we, we had a chance to win the game. Um, so, you know, uh, we just we just chalked that one up as a loss and we, we, we put it behind us and we moved forward to a good Lamar team. Obviously, the Jerry was a play on the offense. Anybody stood out on defense for you that the team would be leading or following behind on defense this year? Uh, I thought, I thought it, was, it was several players that stood out defense and I don't really want to name a lot of names. We come from the D line to linebackers to the secondary. I thought a lot of guys stood out. But I thought we did. I thought we missed a lot of tackles as well. Uh, I thought if our defense made a few more tackles, then they don't score those points. And, um, and of course, I thought they took away a touchdown early in the game from our defense, who would have scored two touchdowns that game. But uh, defensively, we know we have defensively. I'm expecting a lot more of that group. It was just the first game of the season. So now they get the speed of the game now. So I'm expecting a lot out of the defense. And um, you, you'll be proud of what you're going to see moving forward from that group of guys. Any injuries? Uh, luckily, no, not, not any major injuries coming out of the game. Um, that's a blessing. You know, when you play a, uh, a non-conference opponent, you know, some things like that can happen. But it was a blessing we came out um, injury-free.